So I'm here in one of the so-called no-go areas. This particular location is Wiley Road in Blackburn. Now this whole street was described in the article written by the Daily Mail as being a no-go area for white people. And according to one of the interviews quoted in the article, uh, people have described this area as being essentially totally out of bounds unless you want to uh, receive a beating, especially if you come here after dark. However, after being on this street for probably about five minutes, I've been welcomed by locals. People have stopped and asked me to see if I may be lost because obviously I look out of place here and there's been a, a whole bunch of white working class males and females coming to the area to buy some of the delicious Muslim produced food products that this street is quite known for locally here. So uh, I spoke to a, a couple of people here including some white Brits uh, and also some of the local Muslim community leaders uh, to see exactly what they had to say in response to these uh, accusations by the Daily Mail. As a white guy, am I welcoming your neighborhood? Not only welcome, warm welcome. You can come anytime, you can come to sit down with us, eat with us, move with us, go walk with us and we welcome you please. And. Uh, uh, anybody can come and welcome on the wallet and because mainly this is a business area in Curry Miles and a lot of people coming from other side of, from Accrington, from other people, night time special, they come in to eat because it's a very cool, very good system, welcome area and please I'm surprised to including, hear. Including white people they come in Included to white people, white Cleveland is like over family people. Wally Range for over 50 years and longer and I have never had a problem as a no-go area. So whoever writes it in your paper wants to stop making stupid news, fake news, as Mr. Trump says, and tell the truth. There is nowhere in Blackburn where we cannot go. I'm quite comfortable myself around here. I've lived around here most of my life, done a lot of work around here. If you need out, just ask. You get directed in the right direction. And uh, do you think that the fact that there are a lot of Muslims in the street has been a problem? Is there an integration problem at all? No. It just seems like they all seem to congregate around here. It's nothing like, like racial, right? It's just where all the families are, isn't it? So they all like, keep together. We're working together to bring this town together. And uh, especially in Blackburn, we try to grow with the, uh, you know, our children grow with the white people. And they are, uh, they, my children have a more white friend than Asians. And um, I, I don't mind for that. You know, and it's, uh, I, I, I know the rumor uh, and I know that uh, that they, I think the Daily Mails have some article on Sunday, which is not acceptable. And they said the bullet range is not go area. Please, I don't know where they get from. And I'm sure that uh, the reporter will get sick if he, you know, do things like this to try to divide us, which we're not going to accept that. So I've been here for probably about half an hour now and since arriving I've received nothing but warm welcomes from everyone here in the community, both Muslim and non-Muslim as well. I see absolutely no evidence whatsoever that this is a no-go area for anyone, especially white people who have been coming out here in force to enjoy some good quality Muslim made food. We're in Didsbury in Manchester. Now this is the city that I went to university and it is also the place where the Daily Mail claimed it is apparently a no-go area for white people. Now, for those that don't know, Didsbury's white population is even higher than it is in Manchester, and it's roughly around 89% white. Yet the Daily Mail had the gall to say that white people, like this gentleman right next to me, are not welcome in this area. Now, I don't know if you can see around us, but the white people around us do not feel unwelcome. This is a an area where all people are welcome, Asians, whites, blacks, and the Daily Mail with their article are actually just trying to cause more division, more polarization, and it wasn't factually correct. And that's why we've come, made a long journey from London to basically dispel this myth that is, that is an attempt to divide the United Kingdom even more so than it already is. And uh, don't take our word for it. We're going to speak to some locals now and gauge the reaction and see exactly what they think of the Daily Mail and what appears to be a total racist hit job on these northern communities. I thought that's completely rubbish because like, if you just take a look around, there's no Taliban-like zone here. Everyone's <laughs> walking about. There's nothing to worry about here, so it's just completely safe. Um, no, never felt unsafe in Didsbury, ever. Um, or anywhere in Manchester, to be honest with you. So, yeah, um, 
they don't know what they're talking about. I feel more unsafe from people coming up with, with dangerous theories and dangerous, um, I was going to say opinions, but I mean, it's just not true. So there's nothing to really, there's nothing to really debate. It's just more fueling of the culture war. Yeah. It's just to get people feeling frightened and feeling feeling scared in their own environments. And it's it's nonsense. It's politically manipulative and it's it's socially dangerous and, and really it's, irresponsible. Yeah. Well, alhamdulillah, I'm so glad that I'm a Muslim. And um, to any people who have any issues or anything, just come and talk to someone. Come and talk to a Muslim. I mean, there's three, four of us in the shop. We've been here a long time. We love talking to people about our religion. We love teaching people about our traditions and cultures and stuff. And um, once people get to know about it, they know that we're just people and we've got no, nothing bad behind us, no bad beliefs or anything. Okay, so we're here now outside Didsbury Mosque, which is one of the religious establishments which was also included in the Daily Mail article. Now, the reason that they highlighted this particular masjid is because it used to be a church and was converted into a mosque in the 1960s, I believe it was, highlighting it as if it were a bad thing that that happened. They also uh, highlighted other irrelevant points like uh, that people were witnessed walking into this mosque with Palestinian flags as if that was some kind of sign of radicalization or something that is taboo. Obviously it's not. Really poor form, even for the Daily Mail, whose standards are poor anyway. And we've been in Didsbury now for the last couple of hours. We've spoken to so many people. They praise this mosque for its inclusivity. They said when there was floods, the mosque came out to help the local community. And yet, when the Daily Mail publishes these lies, these articles, these smears, what it does is it causes divisions, not between people within the community, because people in the community know what the mosque is about, know what it represents, but with, between people outside of the community and people within the community that have never been to Didsbury, don't know what it's like, have read the Daily Mail article, won't, won't do any further reading, and will feel that their country is under threat, that Sharia law is running wild and taking over the country and their way of life is under threat. And that's what causes acts of violence against Muslims. Shame on you, Daily Mail, shame on you. And we've got a copy, copies of your rag, and we're gonna do a good service to the people of uh, Manchester by getting rid of this particular paper and hopefully, hopefully, we'll start a trend of people dumping and trashing this paper, trashing this awful paper, this propaganda and racist rag. It's a good out doormat. Of their good doormat. Good doormat. We're yeah. going to be filming this shortly. I'll, uh, I'll pass it back on to you, Ahmed. I've said yeah. my piece. Yeah, just, just to finish up, the, the article wasn't even well written. I mean, really poorly written article that wouldn't pass a, 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 a bachelor's degree module. In the article, it said at one point, in, in, instead of referring to Blackver Blackburn, it said black. I mean, do you even have people proofreading your articles over there at the Daily Mail? That's the question I want to know. And if this church was turned into a pub, you probably have no problem with it. One, two, three, go.